So this is the 2080 Ti. Of course, it's probably slower than the 3070. It's definitely slower than an RTX 3080. But what's the big advantage that it has that nobody's talking about? You can actually buy one and a lot of people already have them and have had them for years. As opposed to the RTX 3080, the launch was a complete disaster to the RTX 3080, which seems completely non-existent on today, launch day. Everybody's talking about it. They instantly disappeared. It seems like within the first minute, everything was sold out on every single website. Um, I even have a story of my own, how I almost got one and it disappeared right under my finger. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me again. Consider subscribing if you like my content. I have a lot more content on PC gaming hardware, GPUs, water-cooled computers. So remember to subscribe, makes me very happy. Put that thumbs up, leave a comment below. I wanna know, did you try to actually get one of these GPUs in the morning? I know a lot of us did, and a lot of us are a little bit peeved that we couldn't get it. So first, right off the bat, let me tell you my story. So we knew these were going to be launching around 9 a.m. Eastern time. Of course, like many of you, I was refreshing the pages even before. I was looking on the NVIDIA site. I was looking on Newegg, Amazon, Best Buy, Micro Center, you name it. Aside from actually standing in line at a Best Buy or Micro Center, which I know a lot of you did. I got a lot of comments on that. I pretty much was scouring the internet trying to get one. So as soon as everything went live, um, Newegg seemed to have it up faster than the other places. Um, and basically there were a variety of GPUs up there. Of course, initially I wanted to get that Founders Edition. That cooler is pretty amazing. I think most people were going for that. Not to mention that it's $699, which is cheaper than a lot of these third-party cards. But the NVIDIA site at 9 a.m., it wasn't even updating to add to cart. All it kept saying was notify me. Um, there was no change at all. And a lot of people were mentioning this. I saw the comments coming in live. So instead of you know dealing with the NVIDIA site, I jumped on Newegg and then I saw that a couple of cards were already out of stock. And this was like, you know, literally at 9 a.m., um, but a few cards did have add to cart. So I went down and without thinking too much, um, I looked at the first GPU that I saw and it happened to be an EVGA um, Ultra uh, 3080. Wasn't necessarily my first choice. I would have liked to get the Founders Edition, like I mentioned, or maybe even the Ultra Gaming, which maybe has a little bit more performance. But this was the only one that I saw that was in stock. So I added to cart. Everything went fine. I went through the checkout process. Um, I already had logged in before just to make sure it'd be a fast process. Purchased the card. Um, I got the confirmation email saying, thank you for your order. I even checked on the app later just to make sure that the order was there. And of course it was. It said, oh, thank you for buying You know the EVGA card. My order was, was there. Um, it showed us processing. Even the two little bonus items, which it's like a game and NVIDIA GeForce Now, those were there already. I got the confirmation email. So then I just stopped searching because I figured, all right, this is going to be my 3080, I guess. This is the EVGA Ultra. EVGA makes great GPUs. I like the design on this one. So, you know, I was actually pretty happy with it. It's not the Founders Edition that I initially wanted, but, you know, there it is. I'm pretty happy with this one. I think it performs more or less the same. Jade's Two Cents just had a video, I think, with this exact GPU. So I was pretty happy. So I turned my computer off. I put my phone away and I was like, now I can finally relax. I even got the faster shipping. Um, the cheaper options were for like Monday and Tuesday of next week, which I usually do. Um, you know, I'll have a little patience but i was like no 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 i need this gpu as soon as i can get it i want to do a lot of benchmarking i want to show you guys a lot of different games i want to show you guys as much as i can using the actual gpu so i even paid for you know the fastest shipping that i could so it, it would get here i think on friday so i was pretty much set so all right so i'm out doing my other things and this is only a few minutes after by the way maybe like five or six minutes after and i get a very troubling email basically an email from newegg saying order is voided item is out of stock oh my goodness now i go into a little panic because actually the first that i got wasn't for the gpu it was for like the two bonus items that you get for the um uh, the game as well as the nvidia geforce now so i thought oh man i hope it's just for that i hope it's a glitch but then about a minute or two later newegg sent the email order voided item out of stock for the gpu oh man I rushed to the app to see if this was a mistake, if it really happened. GPU was no longer there. I got some error message saying that, you know, this item is not in stock. Please try to reorder again. 
like that's going to happen. Of course, by now, I go and check the new website. Everything is sold out. There's nothing. I go on NVIDIA. It still says notify me. I don't know what that means. So I guess it's all sold out. I go on the Best Buy site. Everything's sold out. There's an MSI card that says add to cart. So I didn't even want that card, but I rushed to it anyway. <laughs> added to cart. And of course, when I try to check out, it says error. Um, card not in stock. So now I'm here stuck with no 3080. I had one. I put my credit card information in. The order was confirmed. I got the confirmation email. And then out of nowhere, the rug is pulled from under my feet and it's voided out of stock. And of course, with this little delay in time, even though this all happened within like the five to 10 minute period, everywhere else was completely sold out. If this had happened, maybe within the first 10 seconds of me trying to buy the card, maybe I could have found one at Best Buy or something like that. So this definitely threw me off. And this is pretty much proof of how fast these GPUs sold out because I was able to actually go through with the order where I got the confirmation for it. And then they had to send the out of stock email after. That means that while I was looking at the page, it was actually in stock and you know, other people were faster. Who knows how many of these they actually have on hand. Um, from what I've seen, the different micro centers across the country, they seem to be getting somewhere between 10 to 15 in stock. And a lot of these are already sort of, you know, accounted for because people waited yesterday with vouchers or, or they waited early this morning. So that's going to be tough to get. I thought about going to a Best Buy or Micro Center today. I'm sure everybody's searching high and low to see a possible place, even if it's local, even if they have to drive two hours. I know that if a GPU was available that I could reserve it two hours away, I would probably drive out of my way just to get it. I'm, you know, I'm pretty excited about these. The performance is great. The hype has been pretty high, but I think it seems like from the reviews that they've really delivered on the hype. So now this launch, this launch is going to get people talking. I'm going to tell you, like, if you read around already, even on the comments on the video that I posted last night about the timing, if you read those comments, people are already like, oh, I tried to get one. It was sold out. Most people didn't even see the add to cart option. That's how quickly it sold out. So it's like they never even got a chance to really pull the trigger on one of these GPUs. So people are talking about it. I think a lot of people are disappointed, not only because everybody was hyped up to get one of these, but it seems like it was kind of unreasonable how fast they sold out. In a lot of cases, people didn't see that add to cart. So it wasn't like, okay, five or 10 minutes and you know, maybe a guy tried to buy it an hour later and it sold out. People were literally there like at 9 a.m. And within the first like 10 seconds, you know, websites were kind of crashing. There were little glitches where you could add it to your cart, but then it, it would say it's out of stock. So this definitely wasn't the best launch. We're going to see if they're going to get restocked now or if they're going to be sort of like perpetually out of stock. I kind of gave up on getting the Founders Edition because I think that's going to be very hard to get. And I definitely don't want to overpay for it like on eBay or something like that. I recommend you guys don't do that. Maybe just have a little patience. After a little while, there may be some stock like on Newegg or, or Best Buy or Micro Center. You may be able to get, even if it's a third party card, you may be able to get it at the regular MSRP. So I would just say have a little patience. But this launch, definitely a little frustrating. I think Nvidia knew the amount of demand that was there for this card. So I really think possibly they should have made more of an effort to make sure that everybody was well stocked. I mean, a big store like Micro Center only getting 10 or 15 GPUs, especially in a very very populated area where you know probably hundreds of people or maybe thousands of people would drive there to buy that GPU. I mean, they had a lot of time to plan for this launch. It's been over two years, so they could have definitely ramped up, I think, some of this manufacturing and made sure that there were more GPUs out there because I think they still would have been sold out even with greater quantities out in the wild. It just wouldn't be a ridiculous like within the first five seconds and, and website error types of sold out. That's definitely frustrating. And then when they finally decide to let more on the market people are going to have been frustrated to not get them before so then of course everybody's going to buy them and then eventually you'll reach an equilibrium but this has happened a lot of times before and i know in the world we're in a special situation there have been certain manufacturing and shipping restrictions but lately it really hasn't been as bad and like i said they've had a lot of time to plan so i think they should have made a little bit more of an inclusive launch at least if people knew that it was sold out after an hour i don't think people would be that mad but to literally have it be sold out within a few seconds and another important point 
this most likely may keep 20 series GPUs prices a little bit higher. I know the 2080 Ti was getting a beating on the secondhand market. People were selling it much cheaper on eBay. But now, if they can't even get their hands on a 3080, what's the point of selling your 20 series GPU? People have to hold on to it longer, meaning there's going to be less of them on the market and the price is going to stay either as it was before or at least level out and not dump so low. Uh, and if you think the 3080 launch is bad, I don't even want to see the 3090 launch. I'm sure they're going to have a lot less of those because it's a much more expensive GPU. But I think, especially considering since a lot of people couldn't get the 3080, there's going to be more than enough people wanting to get that 3090, especially the Founders Edition. There's a little special magic with this generation's Founders Edition because of the updated cooler it looks so much different it's been getting great reviews etc so the 3090 i think is going to be even worse than the 3080 let's not even mention the 3070 which is coming out next month that's a car that's even more mainstream so theoretically you're going to have even more people trying to get it so i think it's going to be a similar launch to the 3080 we'll have to see if by the 3070 launch the 3080 stock is maybe replenished and maybe there's more um, if that happens and there's more stock coming in the next few weeks it could alleviate some of these issues but judging so far by this really crazy instantaneously sold out launch i don't have too much high hopes so if you have a 20 series be it a 2060 27 70, 2080 only sell it i think after you have your hands on an actual 3000 series gpu because it may be very very tough to get your hands on one then you don't really want to overpay for it as well it's not worth it as of right now it seems like everything's sold out even the local store so it's a little bit frustrating but we'll see within the next weeks if stuff gets replenished all right guys remember to subscribe smash that like button um, today I just put up an RTX 3080 build guide. Remember to check that out when you can eventually get a 3080. It's going to be very useful for you. So start watching it now, planning your build. You can get the other stuff in the build. Um, and eventually the 3080, you'll be able to fit that in there too. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.